What is up everybody? Resale Renegade here, resellrenegade.com. Check out the link in the description below. I posted some new articles. Um, if you're not checking out the blog, you're missing out on content that I don't put here on YouTube. Um, I got some good stuff there. How to make money with ties. How to, uh, I don't know, I got other articles there. So check that out um, first and foremost. Secondly, I got a, a cool video here for you today. Um, it's talking to Picking Profits on a live stream the other day. It kind of came up. And uh, I wanted to show you guys how I filter through Craigslist and find essentially leads for things to go by. Um, and I do it really quickly without having to do a bunch of search and a bunch of time on, on Craigslist. It just automatically populates everything. Essentially, it's my own Craigslist search engine for all the products um, that I'm interested in so that I can go through just real quick and I can find all the things that I want to buy or even keep tabs on stuff that I'm selling, really. Uh, not my items, but see where the market's at for things that I'm selling. Um, anyway, so I, I wanted to show you a real quick tutorial. So I'm going to jump on over to the, uh, the screen cam here on the laptop and show you guys what I got for you. All right, so we're here on the, uh, the good old laptop. And uh, I want to show you a quick trick on how I keep tabs on what's going on in my local Craigslist market and uh, how I find things, little niche items that, um, that I'm looking for without having to go back and search every single day. And I use two little things, well, one little thing, I guess, actually, Craigslist, obviously, and then Google Reader. Um, and everybody's got Google Reader if you've got a Gmail account. If you're on YouTube, you've got a Gmail account, probably, or a Google account, anyway. So you can just go to google.com slash reader, um, and it'll pop you into here, your, uh, your little Google Reader account. Now, next thing you do, head on over to Craigslist and uh, type a search query for what you're looking for. Um, so I like, like, old BMX bikes or whatever. So I'm going to type in a Dyno VFR because I happen to know that that's uh, a nice little seller for me. Uh, there's a couple little ones here. So I've already looked at this one, obviously. Um, 125 bucks is uh, about market price for it. I don't want to pay that much for it. <clears throat> but I want to kind of monitor the market. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify my search here. and I'm going to type in 10 bucks for the minimum and 200 for the maximum. Um, and what that's going to do is it's going to kind of weed out any of the stuff that's over 200 bucks because I don't ever want to spend two, more than $200 on a Dyno VFR. But I do want to check and see when people are offering them for less than 200 bucks because that's going to give me an opportunity to swoop in there and buy them, clean them up, and resell them. Okay, so once I've got my, my search query, you'll notice up here in the very top, it'll tell you where you're at. So this is central New Jersey. Um, and then it'll this long string right here, I'm going to make sense of it for you here in just a second. So, um, in this little search query here, you'll see a couple things. The max ask is 200, which also correlates with the maximum price. The minimum ask is 10, which is which correlates with the minimum price. And then the, the query here is Dyno VFR. So, what what this essentially is, this RSS feed right here is a let's click on it. Boom. It's an RSS feed that's going to essentially feed your Google Reader um, every time someone posts an ad that, ha that has the term Dyno VFR in it with a price in between ten and two hundred dollars um, and it's going to be in the entire post because I have that thing selected so what I'm going to do with that link the RSS feed is down on the lower right hand corner you just click on that it'll give you a bunch of gibberish here you won't be able to see or you won't really care what's in there but just highlight the URL and copy that URL because you're going to need it here in just a second. Then move on over to your Google Reader account, and uh, my this is a brand new Google Reader account uh, because I'm I'm doing it through my Resale Renegade uh, Google Reader account. So uh, I figured it'd be cleaner for you guys to see. So the first thing that you guys do is down here under subscriptions, click on the little arrow that highlights on the on the right hand side of that. And it'll open up a little menu. Click on Add a Subscription. And then it'll pop up a little box here, and you just right-click, paste that little URL that you copied from Craigslist, you paste that right in there and hit Add. And what that's going to do, that's going to import your ad. Now you'll notice that there's one ad in here, and there are several ads here. That's because this RSS feed is only going to focus on the local uh, Craigslist that you happen to be searching through. So this is Central New Jersey's stuff. Your nearby areas will not be included in your Google Reader feed. So if you want to do multiple areas, right, go 
to Central and we're going to change it up to maybe Jersey Shore. We'll do the same search. Dino VFR, search um, between 10 and 200. Hit search, clean that out, hit the RSS feed, copy, go back here, go down to the subscriptions, click on that little menu again, add another subscription, paste, add, boom. Now I've got subscriptions here. I got one from Central, one from um, Jersey Shore. Um, so every day I can just log into my Google Reader account and I can see all of the little things that I'm searching for. Um, so whether that be you know, old glassware, that you, you know, Coke bottles, or you're looking for antique sewing machines, or you're looking for knives or watches or anything. The it's really limitless on what you can can type in here, and you can click on your subscriptions button, you go into your Google Reader, and uh, click on all items, and you can just get a list of all the items that you're actually listed in, and, or interested in, and go through and and check them out, see if it's anything that you might be interested in. And uh, if you see something that, that tickles your fancy, you just simply, you can either look at it right here and call a number if there's a number on it, or you can just click on the, uh, the headline part and it'll open up the ad right in your other browser window. And then you can reply to them or call them or do whatever it is that you want to do. And it's a great way to kind of funnel uh, leads, for lack of a better term, into your inbox. I'll give you one more example of something that I do just real quick, let's go back to, let's do uh, South Jersey. How about that? South Jersey, I'm looking for um, garage sale leftovers. Right? In all of for sale. Um, that's kind of a weird, let's see what that one's doing. Eh, not interested in that. And you'll, you, you will get some of this kind of stuff that's just irrelevant because people keyword stuff their ads. Um, let's see here. Garage sale. Let's just do garage sale. Let's do garage sale in quotes to kind of narrow it down. See, there's all these different, these different uh, search terms and little identifiers that you can put in there to kind of, you know, filter down your results. Another good thing, like for instance, if I want to just do title only, so that I can find out just about the garage sales. All of these will have garage sale in the uh, in the description here. And I don't even have to put quotes on it then. So title only, garage sale, there's a bunch of those listings. I'll go down here to the very bottom, like I did before. The lower right hand corner, I'll click RSS. I'll take this, this link, I'll go back, I'll put a new subscription, add a subscription, paste. Now, Every single time, all the all the garage sales will just automatically come up. Anytime somebody posts an ad that says garage sale, will just automatically come up in my Google Reader. So instead of going to Craigslist every single day, I can just click into my Google Reader and I've already got all of my search terms accounted for. So I've got my Dino VFRs popping up, I've got my garage sales popping up, I've got everything that I need to know right here in one spot. And uh, and if you really learn some of the Craigslist identifiers. You can actually really, really trim down on what you're looking for exactly. Like I can do garage sale, and if I hit a minus sign and uh, indoor, because I don't want to go to any indoor garage sales, which I don't know I wouldn't. This is just an example. Then I hit search again, and it takes out all the ones that say indoor. So I don't have any of the indoor garage sales coming up in my feed. Now I would just do that. I'd hit the RSS, and I'd copy that and paste that in there and maybe get rid of the other one. Um, but anyways, I hope this helped. Uh, it's just a real quick way that I use to kind of filter through Craigslist and find just the stuff that I'm looking for. Maybe keep tabs on the market um, and kind of see what people are selling, things that I'm selling for, that kind of stuff. But it was a neat little trick that I found that I thought you might use as well. So I hope you enjoyed. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got something out of that. Um, so thank you for watching. I appreciate all the views, all you guys' subscribers out there and everything. Really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Um, if you could like, favorite, comment, subscribe, you know, do the normal YouTube thing, I would really appreciate it. Um, even share it if you if you found some value in it. Um, other than that, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.